Hi, I'm Dennis Pilon, Associate Professor of Political Science at York University. Over the past decade, people interested in fixing our democracy have often asked just what would an alternative to our single-member, winner-take-all voting system actually look like? Well, right now, I want to introduce you to one of these concrete alternatives, Dion's P3 model. Stefan Dion is an esteemed parliamentarian and former leader of the Federal Liberal Party. He's also a political scientist. For Dion, the key problem with our current single-member, winner-take-all voting system is that it artificially exaggerates the regional support of our parties and makes our country look more divided than it really is. To address this, he's invented a new voting system that combines a preferential ballot with a moderate level of proportional representation. He argues that his model is proportional, preferential, and personalized, thus the moniker P3 and it would appear that his Liberal Party is open to looking at alternatives to our single-member, winner-take-all voting system. At their 2014 convention, Liberal delegates voted overwhelmingly for a party resolution that would, quote, explore preferential ballots and or a form of proportional representation to represent Canadians more fairly and serve Canada better. In Dion's P3 system, our present single-member ridings would be replaced by districts that would, on average, elect five MPs, with representation awarded to parties in proportion to the votes they received in that district. With five MPs in a district, a party would need roughly 16.7% of the votes to elect an MP. However, if a party were to get less than 16.7% of the total votes, their vote wouldn't be wasted, because Dion's system allows voters to rank their choices. If a voter's first choice proved not popular enough, then their vote would be transferred to the second choice marked on their ballot. Dion's system also allows voters to indicate which candidate they prefer from amongst those running for their first choice party. Dion's system elects a group of MPs in each district, each of whom has a mandate from a distinct segment of the community. This accomplishes Dion's main objective, which is to see that none of our major parties are shut out of the different regions of the country where they have the support to warrant representation. Dion's model has no single member local MPs, Instead, he sees his P3 model as providing multi-member districts that are small enough that MPs would all have a home base, but large enough to create a moderate level of proportional representation for parties. Dion's P3 voting system would not increase the size of our parliament. It would remain the same size at 338 MPs. Dion suggests a standard five MP district but he allows that geography and simple mathematics may dictate a number of four MP regions will be required and in some remote regions, even smaller MP regions. The Dion P3 voting system would more accurately represent what Canadian voters say with their votes by awarding seats to parties in a more proportional manner. And the multi-member ridings would mean that every voter would have a choice in terms of which MP to approach with their issue. Let's explore the kind of results that we might expect to see with the Dion P3 model in Canada by rerunning the 2011 federal election results in the region of Eastern Ontario. Under our current system, this area would elect 16 MPs. In the Dion P3 model, we would take our Eastern Ontario region and divide it into three districts of five MPs each for 15 MPs in total. In this example, we'll show the district of Ottawa East Cornwall. In Dion's P3 voting system, you have two votes. Your first vote is a preferential vote for party. Parties will gain seats in the multi-member riding in proportion to the votes they receive. To make sure that few votes are wasted, this is accomplished in stages. When the votes are counted, the least popular party that has not met the threshold would be eliminated, and the votes cast for that party are transferred to the next choice indicated on the ballots. This continues until all the remaining parties have met the threshold. At this point, the remaining parties are awarded representation in proportion to the votes that they have received. Your second vote is for a candidate of your first choice party. The candidates with the most votes are the ones that gain election in order of their popularity. Thus, if a party were entitled to two seats, then the candidates with the highest number of these second votes would be the ones that would be elected. If your first choice party doesn't pass the threshold, you don't influence the selection of any of the candidates for the other parties. This simulation is based on how people voted in Ottawa East Cornwall in the 2011 election. First, here are the actual results from 2011. Conservative, 42.8%. 
Liberals, 34.4%, NDP, 18.9%, Greens, 3.4%, others, 0.5%. To estimate how people might rank the different parties in Dion's P3 voting system, we've used the results of an ECOS poll conducted right before the 2011 federal election. It asked voters how they would rank the different parties. Incorporating this polling information into our model, this is how the results change. The Conservatives now come out with 44% of the vote, the Liberals have 35.6%, and the NDP have 20.4%. The Green Party don't meet the quota of 16.7%, and so they're eliminated. When you divide the vote count by Dion's quota of 16.7%, you end up with two Conservatives, two Liberals, and one New Democrat MP. These five would be the MPs for this district of Ottawa East Cornwall. Dion's model achieves his objectives. It prevents the regional over- and under-representation of our political parties that's typical of our current single-member, winner-take-all voting system. Our major parties would be competitive in all regions of the country. And after the election, voters would be able to deal with the MP of their choice in the district instead of just having one choice, which is the case now. Dion envisions his model as embracing moderate proportionality, which means that it wouldn't be as competitive as more fully proportional voting system models. The Dion P3 voting system is one concrete way to create more accurate, democratic results in Canadian elections. Is it the right choice for Canada? Make sure to let Fair Vote Canada know what you think. To find out more about the Dion P3 model, click the links in this video or explore the Fair Vote Canada website. Thank you.